some kind of way
snaps. Sitting up. I thought we'd be sitting up higher when I came in here, but uh, you know, I set this up real quick. Y'all cats don't know what I do, man, I actually do this every morning. I get up, I uh I get up and I thank the heavenly for the opportunity to be up. And I say, okay, we're gonna do a little video this morning and talk about fragrances. But this morning I ran into this really, really cool documentary about what's going on in the world and uh I figured I would share it with you guys. And then I realized, what I realized after I did that and I saw some of the comments, um, is that I need another platform. I need a dual platform. I can't continue just to get on YouTube and talk about fragrances. I can't continue to just get on YouTube and talk about music. Uh, I'm interested in a myriad of things. Uh, life is too short to be just uh, surrounding myself with just, or, or engaging myself in just fragrances and just music. There's too much going on on this planet right now. And I would feel that I am being very, very irresponsible 
if I didn't put my word out there as how I felt about what's going on on this planet. So I'm going to have a multi-format, so my day is going to be real busy because every day I wake up and I'm thankful that I woke up. A lot of you guys just take for granted that you wake up, but I don't. When you get to be my age, if I'm going on 58, and you're 57, you think every day that you wake up. You don't take it for granted. And there's too many people that's waking up every morning thinking about freaking fragrances or whatever, going to bed at night thinking about fragrances, and you haven't even thought about life. You're trapped in this Truman Show. If you've ever watched, you gotta remember, man, whenever they put out move, movies, this thing is real. And the Truman Show is basically real. They got us programmed into this freaking loop. You wake up every day, think about your life every day. Think about when you wake up every day. The first thing you think about is what? Okay, then what you do. And then what you do. And then what you do after that. And then what you do after that. And then you go into bed. You wake up the next day. What do you do? You wake up in the morning. And then what you do. And then what you do. And don't you think that's just for a life that's been given to you to make a positive change on this planet or to stand up for something, not just to make babies and have babies all over the place or have kids living through your children and stuff like that. I'm talking about your legacy. Because there's some people who, who made kids and they in jail. So they have no legacy. Their legacy is done. Then we have kids growing up to be in doing so. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use, instead of using this format to try to reach out to some of you guys, some of you guys are not interested in politics or interested in what, what's happening around the world. You just want to do with juices. I got that part great. There's some of you guys not interested in my music or music at all. You don't care about what these pedals do. You don't care about the guitars I own. You don't care about the basses I play. You don't care about production. You don't care about studio. So we're going to have a channel for that. And then last but not least, we're going to have a channel about politics and what's happening in this planet today. Not so many people around here starving. There shouldn't be nobody starving. There's plenty of places on this earth that people can be living. Well, well, and the thing about it is, well, I'm not, I'm not a Muslim, but some of that Muslim stuff made sense. It made sense because now it's coming back to roots on, on those who created this craziness. The Rothschilds and all the people who created this stupidity that we live in comfortably. Because as long as we can buy something and put something in our pocket, we cool. As long as we can eat, we cool. That's crazy, man. That's totally crazy. That, you know, is the red pill and the blue pill every day. What are you going to do today? Are you going to do something right or are you going to do something wrong? Are you going to stop smoking? Well, are you going to start smoking? Are you going to stop smoking weed? Or whatever? That's cool. Weed is good. Weed came from the earth. Weed came from the earth. But I'm just saying, what are you going to do every day you wake up? All you do is do the same thing every day repetitively. You have no other goals? You have nothing else in mind? That's it? That's all you're going to do? You have no input? The only thing you know about politics is, oh, I can't stand, I can't stand Trump. That's all you got? That's all you got. You ain't got nothing to talk about. I do. I have a lot to talk about. And I'm not going to sit here and have YouTube shut down my channels. Because I know YouTube is looking at me. I know there's people. I know when there's 12 people here and only six likes, I realize other people looking at me. Or my, my channel wouldn't be getting shut down from time to time. So I know they listen to me. They know I'm a brother that's trying to bring some freaking knowledge to the brothers that I know. And that's all I can do. Other than that, I'm done. I'm done. You know what I mean? I can't do it. So I'm going to do it. I think about retirement every day now. I'm going on 58, heaven when I see 58. I go to work every day. It's not like my job. I'm not freaking working at McDonald's. I'm not working on a roof. I'm not, I'm not responsible for 20 other people. I'm not doing other stuff. I go to work. I do what I got to do. I'm my own boss. I'm out. I get paid. SEPTA pays me well. I've been here for 30 years. Some people can't say they've been in a job for four years. They so in and out of the jobs, don't know what to do. Getting this job, oh, I don't like that job no more. Get a job, oh, you know what? I'm just going to go to college for four years. I go to college, get out, you still ain't got no job. Still get the same place you are. Same thing. And there's people in your family that do that. You got people in family that's in jail. You do. You, you got a lot of things going on. But if you don't speak up for what you stand for, you're nothing but sheeple. You're nothing but a pawn in the game. You're the Truman Show. You're just doing the same thing over and over each and every day. And who want to do that? Because again, you're going to be here shorter, all right? You're going to be here shorter than the place you're going to go afterwards, unless you don't believe you're going anywhere afterwards. Therefore, I guess you'll be in the ground for the next billion years. You know what I mean? And I always think of, I always thought about this. Um, I always thought about, um, yeah, well, like I said, he said there was plenty of places that you could have put colored folk and let them cultivate their own land. Look, give us some equipment, whatever. The Grand Canyon is big enough to put India in. 
The Grand Canyon is big enough to put any in, but the Europeans came over here, claimed all the land, said, no, we're not going to do anything to the Grand Canyon. It's going to be the Grand Canyon. And we're going to have four white president faces up on a freaking mountain somewhere. That's it. The same place that people could be living at, making them habitable. They could tear down the tree everywhere else. They could tear down the tree in your neighborhood. They put up a freaking 5G joint that's going to kill you right in front of your door. But they can't make space for color folk to cultivate themselves like Muhammad said. Not Muhammad, but uh, Elijah Muhammad said. And it made sense. No, they'd rather come over here and steal the land and say, go back to Africa. I didn't come from Africa. I was already here. My, my ancestors were already here. I didn't come from Africa. I ain't come over here on no freaking boat. Because I ain't black. I ain't going to never be black. I'm not African-American either. I was here. I'm Native American. I was here already. I got Indian in my blood. I got Indian in my blood. I was here. Absolutely. You can fit them in Alaska. You can fit them everywhere. They talking about they ain't got no resources. Now the resources are going to the Rothschilds, the James Soros, the Soroses, and the, the Bezos, and all these people. The, the freaking, uh, uh, you know, man, all them sellouts, man, all them satanic sellout dudes, man. Them dudes drinking blood, man, trying to stay young forever. Freaking what you call him? He getting older and older because he stole technology. You know what I'm talking about? That ball who uh, won Windows. That's Bill Gates. I mean, Ted Turner trying to live long, man. He was he trying to depopulate the world. Come on, man, stop playing me, dog. So I'm going to have a channel that's going to deal with that. And they can shut that channel down all they want. Just going to wait for it to come back up and talk about this anybody else talking about. I'm not the only one talking about what I'm talking about. I'm a flat earther. If people didn't know, I believe the earth is flat. I believe that what we've been taught to put our right hands over our heart, all that crap, that's, that's all Masonic stuff, man. Now, some of you guys may be Masons. And you go ahead, man, do your Mason thing. Do your, I ain't got nothing against my boy. My brother from another mother is a Mason. But I do realize that this planet, this, this country was built on Mas Masonic principles. I know that. That's why we got to stand up for Prince of Allegiance. And like I said, you got to put your right hand over your heart. Everybody know the right hand of the heart is a Masonic thing. You know, but everybody don't know that. You know, but what you don't know, you swearing on the Bible in front of judges who wearing black. Well, man, there's a lot of stuff, dog, that's going on. But you don't know it because you wake up every day. And you do the same thing. You put your clothes on. You get dressed. You do that. You do that. You go to work. You come home and you do the same thing over and over again. That is ridiculous. Life is too short. And I know, heaven will not get to be in heaven. I ain't going to be doing these. I ain't going to be doing fragrance videos. I'm not going to be doing freaking uh, music videos. I'm not going to be talking about politics or world events. I'm not going to be able to do that there. I'm going to have more fish to fry up there. You see what I'm saying? I don't know how people think they're going to live here once they, you know, you see people dropping around you at the age of 45, 50, 60 years old, dropping. And you wake up every morning thinking the same thing every day. That is just preposterous, man. I mean, it's almost based on imbecilic knowledge of thought. I mean, come on, man. Seriously, y'all. I always tell you, I'm not a one-trick pony, man. I'm just not doing it. I got into this fragrance game to promote my music. And I got into YouTube because I'm like, I got more to say. I got away from Facebook. I'm not part of that mess anymore. I'm not part of social media just screwing up the minds of kids, mostly, and the minds of adults who's there for psychological reasons more than anything else. They need likes. They need to be seen. They need to be heard. They need to be all. They need to be seen. They, yo, man, these people need help. These people are killing themselves on Facebook live. Killing themselves. Getting high live. So many cameras. Well, I don't know why they need to put up cameras. We got so many cameras. They don't need to put cameras up anywhere, really. Got a dude faking, freaking, he got attacked by, come on, man, this world is over as we know it, as the construct that we live in. We need to wake up and realize this is not where we came from. We didn't come from that. The people came over here and stole this land came from that. The people over there in Europe came from that. They came from the mountains and hills of freaking Europe with some bull crap. They came here with that. Not to say if you Caucasian, you would loan to them, disown it. I disown people who act foolish and they and they colored. I disown it. But what I'm saying to you is, man, we got to freaking start to wake up and stop living our limited lives, sitting on our freaking behinds, doing nothing every day instead of waking up and doing the same thing every day and you ain't getting nowhere in your life. You get no more knowledge, you get no more substance, you're not doing anything. And so it was a shame to see that I started talking about music last night because I know you cats, and you know I do music, y'all cats are talking about fragrances. So what I'm gonna do is, with that being said, I'm gonna separate the channels. That way you see my channel come up, you see fragrances, you'll be on the fragrance channel. Y'all know I don't care about subscribers. You know I don't, never did. I'm not here for subscribers, man. I'm here to give you knowledge. I got 1,812 subscribers, and I see the same 20 people every day.
I don't see 1,800 people running to my channel to see what I'm talking about. Because they might not be interested in music. They might not be interested in fragrances. They might not be interested in politics. They're interested in something. And I figure I got something to say. I'm not going to be down here just talking about freaking fragrances for 24 hours a freaking day. That's just ridiculous. I'm not going to wake up every morning thinking about what fragrance I'm wearing and blah, 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 and what fragrance I'm going to buy. I'm not doing that. There's more to life. And if that is your life, cats, and if you got to leave my channel after I say this, if that's your life, you're losing. Because there's a speech. No way you wake up every morning, all you thinking about is fragrances. In the afternoon, you thinking about buying fragrances. And at the end of the freaking night, you thinking about freaking buying fragrances. You know how I feel. My love is for that's right. And none of y'all, none of y'all purposes is not to freaking buy fragrances. That's not your purpose. So don't act like it is. You don't have a channel. You don't do, you know, I'm, even if you have a channel, that's not your purpose to come here unless you bring something else to the freaking channel. If all you do is come here every day and talk about fragrances, and that goes to you, FJ, or anybody else, even anybody else who have a channel. If that's all you talk about every day and you're not bringing anything else, just a nugget of anything else to your channel, then you might not even have a channel. Because not everybody going to be filling your channel. How many fragrance reviewers are they out there? A freaking half a trillion now. Anybody who can't freaking find nothing to do in their life want to do makeup, want to do what you call They want to do something. Fragrance is cool. I'm down with that. Look at all this crap. I got it. But that's not my life each and every day. You know what? It kind of almost used to be. I kind of almost used to be. I used to wake up, think my fragrance, and I'm like, I mean, I gotta order this fragrance. I hope it comes today. I'm calling up here. Yo, man, my fragrance come, my package come. And my pa I'm tracing it on what's going on with my package at. It used to be like that. But that wasn't the purpose, really. The purpose was to build a channel dealing with fragrances, and I wanted to be excited about fragrances. I wanted to be excited about music, but I wanted to be excited about life in general. And again, if your life is just centered around fragrances for 24 hours, that is crazy. Heaven forbid you ain't here tomorrow. And all you can say is the last thing you can be able to remember is you talked about a freaking fragrance. <laughs> That's sad, man. That's sad, dog. Bring something else to the table, man. That's why I'm going to start another two channels and that way I can reach out to more people than just fragrance people. Because again, I know you cats may not be interested in music, you may not be interested in politics, you might be interested in the world. It's flat. <coughs> I understand that. I'm good with that. Everybody not going to hand saying life viewpoint or whatever. People just going to go about life. I'm saying for me, man, I got more to offer, man. You mad with the family and the career like this, but don't have time to have 10 channels. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you, bro. I hear you, bro. A wife, a family, all oh, that's beautiful, man. That's your legacy, your wife and your family. But really, your legacy is you. you know, your legacy is you, bro. So if this channel thing is something to get away from the family, I had this guy, man, he said he bought a whole bunch of guitars because his wife was nagging him. So, I mean, he, in fact, these three things I bought from him, expensive, I don't know what, they're like $500 pop, something like that. He sold them to me like $300. Couldn't pass up that deal. The guy said, look, the guy said, yo, I said, what you doing with all this stuff, man? He's like, man, I just bought it, man, because my wife was doing something. I just wanted to nag her. If what do you do in life and this is a shout out to the guy who said I ain't have any class because I was eating oatmeal during the video. Shout out to you, sick guy. Whoever your name is, sent something. Shout out to you. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do three channels. I'm gonna do three channels. It's gonna be fragrances. I'll talk about that in the morning, heaven willing. I can't do nothing during the afternoon because I'm at work. They don't want me on YouTube or Facebook. I'm not on Facebook anyway, so that's cool. Then before I do my music at night, I may do my music second. For my people who in the music, who like pedals and like studio producing and stuff like that, I'm going to start that channel. Then it's going to be a nothing. Not for me, bro. It might be for you. But life is too short, cuz. First of all, I don't have any kids. At this point, I'm not married. I have family to take care of themselves. But if they need me, I'm there for them. I don't have kids. It wasn't a desire of mine to come out and start popping out freaking children all over the place. That's what I mean, man. I mean, I, I don't lie. Seriously, I feel sorry for the people who are having children right now, man. The way this world is constructed, man. Freaking kids waking up, people putting freaking cell phones in babies' hands, man. They getting radiated. <laughs> this world is over, dog. This world is over as it was created to be. It is. And if I'm being involved in trying to talk about fragrances, talk about music, because that's part of my life, I'm also going to talk about the stupid part of this freaking thing, which is the Freeman Show with the Truman Show and the red and blue pill 
and people who are running our lives. Beautiful. And I hope he goes to an astute college. And I hope he's able to make a difference. Because again, college is nothing about, college, what they do in college is they teach you their ideology. If you go to a, a reputable college. Because anybody who go to college is not going to be a leader. Only people who go to reputable college. I'm talking about MIT, I'm talking about Yale, I'm talking about Harvard, I'm talking about uh, University of Southern California. I'm talking about those people are the going to people who are going to be in Congress. Okay, uh, hey, that's great. That's great, but is this software design going to make a difference in the world? That's what we're hoping for. That's a beautiful thing you go into college. As long as you don't get hooked up in the ideology of college. Come on, my friend, I know you. Ideology. College is not about learning. College is about ideology. We went to school all our lives in elementary school taught ideologies. We taught that we, we need, the earth was six million years old, billion years old. We was taught to put our hand, we taught to pledge allegiance, we was taught all, that's our ideology. I don't know why people think when your kids go to college, they, I know people that sit there because of college, they quit after the freaking second year. Because they was too home, oh, I gotta get home. I, I, don't know. I, gotta, I gotta be home, mom, I can't take it no more. And the earth is flat, it'll always be flat. But reality is, man, people have been teaching us garbage over these years, man. We've been accepting it. Let's just, why is the calendar, why is, why is the calendar, and I'm done after this, we're going to talk about frequency. Why, is, why are, why are, I'll say why are, why are our years divided by A.D. and B.C.? B.C., people say it's before Christ, that's not what it's meant. And A.D. is will be after the death of Christ. So let's just say, for instance, Christ was not here. Christ never came. Let's just say that. And who's to say that we had to divide the years anyway? This might be year 6,224,339. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, software design is great. But what are you going to do with his life if you do software design? He's going to make a difference. You can do all you want. If, my, if I'm not making a difference with this music, I might not be doing music. If I'm not making a difference with anything else I know, I will not even be doing it. We gotta make a difference, man. We're not robots. We are not robots, we've never been robots. There are people who've been successful robots. And there's people who are just still robots, okay? So, with that being said, do what you do. Does that you know I'm gonna start three channels, and we're gonna have one channel that's gonna deal with life, another channel's gonna deal with music, another channel's gonna deal with fragrances. Simple as that, I have a website, www.rajur.net, and my websites will be reflecting the same thing. Because I knew as a businessman, because I own my own business, that I had to have a website. Okay? So, again, I've been doing this for years. I'm proven in it. I have CDs out on the market. I have my own recording studio. I have my own money. I have a job for 30 something years. Heaven willing for all that. And heaven thankful for all that. <clears throat> I'm not to show that I'm not just a puppet in the game. That's the point. I'm not going to be sheeple. I'm going to sit around and just let people lead me around, telling me anything they want to tell me and do what they want to do. I've freaking never been to no freaking moon. All right, let's go. That's my speech, my PM. Lead what you want. I'm out. Who's that? All right, here we go. Today, yesterday I wore Mamla. Like I said, Christian sent this to me, but actually I had it before, of course. But Christian sent this to me, a whole nice juicy bottle. And I wore this yesterday, and it lasted all day, of course, because mm -hmm. all kinds of this friggin' what's going on, some stuff. Yeah, yeah, you know it, you know what it is. That's why this one, my man got killed, man. He did that movie, they let him slide with that, but when he did Eyes Wide Shut, Stanley Kubrick had to go. And Stanley Kubrick was the one who directed that friggin' moon thing. He directed it, he was about to tell him. He was sitting, if you look at, uh, 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 um, what's that movie with Jack Nicholson in it? You'll see that he was making fun of that because he had, he had his little son wearing the Apollo, the Apollo shirt with, with the, the, the rocket on there. He was making fun of that right there. You got to watch Stanley Kubrick friends, films. He put a lot of clues out there and that's why they had to finally get rid of him because he was about to talk. Because Stanley Kubrick know what the shining. Look at the shine. There's a whole bunch of Masonic stuff in there. There's a whole bunch of, there's a lot of messages in the shining. Because Stanley Kubrick knew too much. He always tried to put messages in what he did. And that's what I'm trying to do with my next CD. That's why this CD is going to take too long. Because I'm going to put messages in my CD. 
and hopefully somebody will learn. They want this here love song and music. You're going to hear more than that. All right, here we go. Mom like yesterday, smell good. Lasted long, of course. Today, I was going to stay with the dark bottles, but I decided I'm not going to wear Najaf because Najaf is crazy. So, what we going to wear today? Uh, Dijala. You know, I really wasn't a Dijala fan. You know, I not. I'm more of a Do Far fan. All right. Let me see if I have some Forest left. This is how I got into the Geodrop game. What time is it? This is how I got into the Geodrop game. I started by buying the sample set. That's how I started. And I got it from this young lady in Louisiana that I took my man on to. I was telling people about the guy who didn't know that there's a woman two miles away from his house that lived in New Louisiana. He didn't know she even had stuff like this. So I said, you got to get out. You got to get out the house. Or look around, try to find what some good fragrances are in your neighborhood. Here we go, all right? That's what you want to do that 24 hours a day. Anyway, so this is what I bought. So this side is the Oud. Nah, 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 overdose. <laughs> nah, I have not. Nah, that's not my thing, bro. I really don't like Oudin like that. I got a bottle of it. I really don't like it, but I'm not going to sell it. Um, here's the, here the uh, Oud Star set. This is, at the time, this was, in fact, this still, I don't think they made any more Ouds. Maybe they did. But this is the Oud Star set, which contains, and I'll read them off, Zafar, Mumluk, Gao, Alcott, Forest, Zanzibar. Those are the four right there. Okay. And then we had a shooting star set, which is like the citrus thing, where you'll have Kobe, Uden, Defar. What's the other one everybody like? Uh, uh, Modoc, Neo, and Oroville. This is the shooting star set. So they gave out two sets. Give me a chance to sample them. These were $210 a pop. I got them for that price because he hooked me up. They're actually more than that. There's 15 mil a pop. So you got 60 mil of juice right here. Right? No, I'm sorry. Five times six is how much? I'm sorry, 15 times six. Yeah, I got rid of Neo. I kept the bottle though. Uh, 15 times six. That's what you got. Can I add? Is that, is that 80? Is that 90 mil? Whatever it is. 15 times six. So you get enough juice at about the same price if you would if you got a bottle. Probably less. You get to check out all of them. 15 mil is more than enough to check out Geodraw. Tell me. When it comes to this. Now they have other sets. They have the Cosmorati set. They have the 1888. I think 1888 is Cosmorati. They got a whole bunch of sample sets. So you can get those. Spend the money if you want to get in the gear off. Not just try to buy blind and look at uh, so-called reviewers who will lie to you. Well, they got the bottle free. Oh, my man who called me ignorant with no style. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. All right. So today, I want to wear Fars, man, because Fars, Fars smell good. Fars remind me of, uh, Fars remind me of, uh, uh, Mason Friends, Kirk John Ood. Let me see. Let me see if I got enough. Yeah, I do got enough to spray on because it's not going to take much. I'm going to wear Forrest today. This bad boy, you know, the thing about him, he loves putting that lavender and stuff in his, he, man, he puts a lot of lavender in his oud fragrances. I guess to make him stretch or make the oud change character. But most of the time when I look at his notes, everything good, bro? Huh? How you doing today? How long you been here talking, bro? Oh, Jared. I've been looking at Jared. All right. Jerry L and Jared. I get y'all mixed up. I'm like, no, you was already here, right? Ain't it good, bro? You see, I'm talking about fragrances. So I guess I'm doing great, right? Breathing, all this stuff. All right. Here we go. So anyway, we're going to, uh, like I said, most of the time, like he puts a lot of um, lavender in some of his ouds. And they'll tell you all the notes right here, the story behind it and everything. So if you get a chance, oh, you know what I'm thinking see about. if you get the sample set, you might be able to find them it's somewhere around. Anywhere for two hundred, three hundred dollars. Like I said, I got it for two ten because I bought two, and I was already buying fragrances from it. You know what I mean? That's how I got mine for two ten. So today, let's go forest. <laughs> What's going on, Presida? All right, all right. Presida perfume in the house. PP is in the house. All right. 
Yeah, Lyra is part of another set, though. Lyra is uh, part of the uh, Cosmorati uh, set, I think. All right, Fars. I love you, too. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Now, like I said, Fars, and you get, you get this alcohol thing. Like, actually, when I sprayed this just now, I think I got a shot of vodka or something. What's that? I got a shot of white liquor. Uh, I got a shot of white liquor when I spill Fars. But again, I know it's part of the Ooh Stars collection. And yeah, it's good. Robert, you, you, can, you can attest. I don't know if Renee will ever admit that I turned them on to a lot of stuff, but I turned them on to Fars, man. And when, uh, when Renee got, got a, a whiff of Fars, he was like, yo, yo. And um, also turned them on to Jijala. So I asked him, say, yo, did Raj turn you on to some of the, um, turn you on some of the geodrops? If he say no, then you know what it is. You know he's not credible. That's right. I'm going to show him this video too. No, I turned you on to Dijala. In fact, I got him a bottle of Dijala. Dijala. And I turned him on to Fars. He was like, yo, man. Now he turned me on to Lyra. Renee turned me on to Lyra. I bought Lyra. I bought Lyra blind. Blind. Soon today, nothing. I thought about doing nothing, but I already committed. I'm sorry. I don't. I almost had Richwood. Almost had it, man. Richwood is not cheap. Not cheap at all. Because y'all well know. Richwood costs a little bit of money. And uh, I was about to. Uh, I was about to buy it off that ball, man. That's why I got upset at him a little bit, man, because he sold it for money to me. But uh, I was about to buy uh, Richwood from, uh, what's that boy's name? Drac Doc. And then when I went to get it, he was like, uh, 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 I don't have it no more. I said, all right, dog. That's all right. You played me because you told me you are going to keep it for me. Kind of fell off with him after that. How many sprays is that? Is that 20? And it's not really coming out that much. So don't think I'm, don't think I'm bundle spraying this. Maybe he's letting that go to waste. What do you think about Birdie? Uh, Birdie wasn't bad, man. I, I had Birdie for a half a second. I got a sample of that. That wasn't bad. Then I had the, um, what's the other set with the blue bottles? I had, I had, um, I <laughs> had blues in the bottle. I hear you, bro. I had the blue bottles. Uh, which one did I have? I forgot which blue bottle I had. I had that for a minute, too. Yes, it's Geodroff's Discovery set. Yes. One is the... Yeah, I didn't have more than words though. That was the rose one. I didn't have that. I had the vanilla one. This is the ooh, Ivy Route. That's the one I had. I had Ivy Route. All right. So this is the this for Procedure. This is the ooh stars collection set. And this is the shooting stars. The shooting stars discovery set. So like I said, that's how I got into that's how I got into to what you call. That's how I got into Gear Draw. No, I mean, I figured, look, I'm not going to be spending $250, $300 a bottle and not know what this stuff smells like. I, I, I figure I just invest in the sample sets, 200 bucks a pop. And like I said, plenty enough, 15 mils, plenty enough for you to go. A lot of samples said you ain't get that much no more. Now they 10 mil, 11 mil. You know what I mean? Make sound Francis Kirk John's 11 mil. Memo's only 10 mil. You know, they're not really giving out juice like they used to. Zoology's just got a sample set. Everybody doing a sample set. You know what I mean? But man, look, come on now. I got, I got the yeah, I mean, you know what I mean? You gotta give me some juice for this money. 15 mil is more than enough. And I'll pay for 90 mil. I'll definitely pay $210 for 90 mil. Because that's easy work. That's easy work. People are paying more than that for 100 mil. People are paying $200 for 50 mil. I did. With that bibliotech by Barreto. Amber gold and rose gold. Okay, okay, cool. I haven't smelled those. I haven't smelled those, RB. Y'all hear me belching? I like belching too, man. Okay, Twinkle Toes, I'll holler at you later. I'll call you when I get free at work. Holla. You had the order from Germany? I got them from a young lady in Louisiana. If you're talking to me about the uh, sample sets. I got them from Louisiana. Uh, I don't have a contact anymore. I don't. I don't think I do. I look it up. 
I think her name was Ruby or something like that. I forgot her name, but that's why I got my sex wrong. All right. All right, I'm gonna get done early today because I don't want to be rushing. We got a little snow out here. The roads seem to be cleared up though, so at least it just stopped snowing. And uh, man, I gotta, I gotta make some money this week because I'm going on vacation next week, so I'm gonna be doing a little bit of OT. So I want to make sure I get enough rest. This guy gotta stay to one o'clock in the morning to add a couple hours to my day. Cause I want to carry a little dough in my pocket next week when we go on this fragrance hunt. Yes, yes. But well, Rod, you said that you said what's going on, Tiff? I'm about to bounce, but uh, check out the video on the run back. Favorite at the moment is Capuccia Noir by Jirjoff, second Alexandria 3. Hair Salon. Okay, okay, cool. Now, I must admit, now Christian is probably a 24 hour a day fragrance guy. But now, either, either he's in the business of it, he has private distilleries. Now, if he's gonna do that 24 hours a day, that's fine. But come on, man. I appreciate the bottle you sent me, but send it to everybody. Send anybody a sample of this juice. You might as well open up a business. If you have a private distillery, do what you do. Send some of this juice out, man. Send some of this juice out. And don't forget that doggone novel, man. I'm still waiting for that book, bro. I ain't forgot about it. Need that novel, baby. You like me and try and get this CD done. You know what I mean? But anyway, that's it. Again, I'll show you what I had real quick. You saw the Discovery Sets. The Jaff. Which is very, very barnyardy Udi. Udi. All right. Modoc. I really like Modoc too. I really like Modoc. I like that that nutmeg and Modoc. Some of our nutmeg. I like that animalic quality. I'm trying to turn this thing over. I like the animalic quality of, of, of nutmeg. Always, even with Joe Malone's nutmeg and ginger. Always like nutmeg. Another Christian bottle. And this is Modoc again. Because I didn't think I had enough Modoc. I got enough now. Dijala, which is a rose fragrance. All right. As you see, all my bottles are old bottles. I don't have them new bottles. No new bottle juice. It's old bottles. And Mumluck by Christian again sent me that. And I like Dofar so much, I bought me another Dofar. Because I really like Dofar too. Oh. Dofar, I got. Smell like you got that nutmeg in it too. I like Dofar too. And you know, another one I like is Oroville. Oroville is a little bit different. It has tobacco in it, but Oroville is nice too. Oroville is nice too. Which discovery sets are leaning more towards more feminine? Oh, it definitely wouldn't be the Ood Stars. It would definitely be the Shooting Stars. It would definitely not be the Ood. So don't buy the Ood if you're looking at more feminine. The, the Shooting Stars is more citrusy. Um, Again, more lavender involved and stuff like that. So, yeah, for, 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 for the feminine fragrances, besides the one that Ava bought for me, she bought, she bought two for me and one for me. Ideal Bouquet from 1888. That's a feminine fragrance. And you can wear Regio too. Regio is pretty good. So, um, yeah, they have a couple. But when it comes to the shooting star sets, but you can buy the Cosmo Roddy set. There's like eight of them in there. I think it's eight of them in there. Eight, five mils or something like that or eight. There's eight, I think there's eight of them in there. You can buy that set too. I think it's around $300. If you want to check out the Cosmo Roddy 1888 uh, set as well. So yeah, that's all I got for you. I got to get ready to bounce, man. So again, I'll be launching my channel while I'm at work today. Yeah, I said it. I'll be launching my two other channels. I'm going to put on my website. And uh, we're going to be talking about fragrances. Specifically just fragrances. Then we have my music and recording uh, uh, channel. Music and recording channel. That's going to be music and recording. And then we're going to have politics and all that stuff channel. All right. Yeah, I got the Cosmo Roddy. It came that's Which one did you get, though? There's a whole, whole bunch of Cosmo Roddy's. Which one did you get? Did you get uh, 1888? I mean, did you get uh, Ideal Bouquet? No, I, man, it was kind of hard for me to get it up. But I need a couple of dollars, so I had to get it up to Ava. But which one did you get? I like Italica. Okay, okay. Oh, you got Discovery set. Oh, you got the whole set. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, I think that's a pretty nice set, too. That's pretty nice. How many did you get? Eight? What is it? Eight five mil or eight ten mil? I think it's eight ten mil, right? I think it's eight ten mil in that set. But you know, because you got it last week. So, yeah, check that out. Other than that, I'm out, y'all. I wasn't going to play with my pedals, but again, that's from after work, if I'm not doing overtime. 
come and paint these pedals and work on my one man show. Cause again, each and every day after 30, almost 31 years, March 28th, heaven willing to be my 31st year at my job. That is entirely too many years to be putting in one job. And I have something to do. But the only reason I'm really staying there because I do have something to do. If all I was doing that, I mean, there's, I feel sorry for cats in my job. That's all they do. They've been working all, all their lives, 30 years. And they don't have nothing else to do. They might buy cars. They might buy video equipment. My man like to buy video stuff. He like to have the iPads and all that stuff, the up-to-date stuff. But other than that, I, I just couldn't see living 30 years and... Uh, I mean, not living through, but working 30 years a job and not having something else to do. I mean, it's really, uh, if you believe heaven created you, then that would be a waste. That's all you did. You worked for 30 years, came home, drank, went to sleep, got up, went to work, came home, drank. Went to sleep, get up, came home, drank. Whether you're married, whether you got kids. I know, Doug, I was raised with a mother and father too. So I had kids, they had children. So I, I know how it is. I was raised with a mother and a father. Thank goodness I was. You know, but... Again, there's some people who weren't. There's some people with one mother families more, especially in our community, number a lot of one, one, there's a mother. That's it. So you think they're gonna do when they grow up? You think they're gonna be looking for jobs for 30 years? No, they're gonna be on the freaking internet, showing their butts, smoking weed, acting a fool, wanting to be rappers. Again, I applaud FJ for your son going to college, but he's not gonna make a difference for anybody else, then he's just being selfish. You gotta turn his balls on to that. Or say, man, you might not want to do software, do this. You ain't gotta play basketball all the time. I got skills, I can play basketball. I wasn't no basketball player though. You know what I mean? But if we're not sharing what we have as a human race, and all we're doing is one trick pony and stuff, I think that's enough. That when you finally leave out of here, you're not gonna have any regrets. Fine. If that's your life, that is great. But we all got creative things in our body. To be creative, not to buy fragrances, because we don't make the fragrances. We just buy the fragrances and might talk about it. That's nothing. You didn't make the fragrance. So now if you want to get in the fragrance, do like other people do and make a fragrance. Do like Nier did. Nier made his own fragrances. Not only does he sell fragrances, that's one thing. There's another thing. You buy a fragrance. You're not even selling the fragrances. You're not selling the fragrances. And you didn't make the fragrance. So that doesn't impress me with people reviewing stuff. I don't, what, 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 what you going to do now? What else you got? Because I can buy the same fragrance as you bought. What else you going to do? You going to do something else special? Because if you're not, that's why I, look at, I don't look at anybody else's channel anymore. I don't really look at people's channels anymore. I just don't. I just don't, man. Thank you, brother. Thank you, man. May the heaven, heavenly bless you as well. Um, yeah, I don't look at other people's channels no more, man. It got to be something that just comes to me like Mr. Oz or stick something out. But other than that, man, look. Yeah, exactly. Look at him making a frag, man. Do more. Anybody can buy frags, bro. Anybody can take their money, man, and hard earned money or whatever you got it and make buy a frag. Make a frag. See, I'm not gonna make a frag. I could have made a frag a long time ago. Cause I went to a couple Yamins. If you ever, have you here's one for you, bro. Here's one for all you guys. I went to Sniffer Palooza one year. I think it was 2014, 2015. I went to Sniffer Palooza in New York. Very nice. He took you around everywhere. You got to go to other stores. We had dinner. You got to go to places where they make fragrances. You learn what the vanilla really smells like and what this really smells like and how to mix it up, how to do that. Do that. Do that. Because a lot of these reviewers don't do that. I've done that. I still got my Sniffer Palooza pass. So, if you want to be credible on this channel, if you want to be credible doing a fragrance channel, from real dudes who are gonna look at you, not teenagers, not somebody who wanna smell good, and no, 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 no. I'm talking about people who really gonna admire your channel, who wanna check out your channel. Absolutely, absolutely. Centrifugal forces, he does what he do. Not because he got a 500 bottles, a 600 bottles, a 700 bottles, because he know what he's talking about. Not because he said, this sprays on my skin, this smells like this the last hour. He got more knowledge than that. But he ain't gonna expose it to people who don't appreciate his knowledge. When I talk about Eric Witt, y'all guys don't get the hair. You know what I mean? I mean, I talk to people who really, really in the game. You know, and that's why I talk about those people as well. But if you're not talking to people who really, really in the game, then you're just a part of the game. Don't be part of the game. Be the game. Or get out the game. Got a creative bone in your body? Do something creative. My creative is writing songs, putting out CDs, and doing music. That's my creativity. Hope y'all can inspire somebody to do the same. That's what I got. Can't inspire me to buy a fragrance. That's nothing. 
inspire people to do something outside the realm. And that's what I'm here to do. Put here for a reason. Not just about fragrances. That's why we're doing another channel. All right? So check y'all out later. I'll let y'all know how that's going. And as soon as I do that channel, I'll put links in this channel to, you know, crack out the new channels. And I'll talk to you then, all right? Because I was hoping to bring people in the music, in the fragrance, but it's just not going to work that way. I'll just use my links to do that. I mean, I can't, I can't expect... I got to put music stuff in my t title to get them to come to the video. And they hear me talking about fragrances. They're going to be like, what, what, what the heck? So, what are going to do? All right, I'm out. I'll talk to y'all later. Have a good day. Do the best you can. Separate yourself from the rest. I mean, keep away from the foolishness. Be separate. Not separate away from people, but separate in the way that you think, in your mind. Be creative. Do something. Make something. 